Good morning, I'm John Ellsworth, founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I have a question for you. Do you have any bad habits? Well, the answer to that, of course, is yes, you do. We all do. But now that I have your attention, I'd like to focus on something in the opposite direction. How about good habits? I suspect that you have some good habits also, as do I. Some examples that I use in my business is that you know, one of my good habits is that I track our weekly results. So I always know what our position is year to date uh, versus our plan for the year. Uh, I also call my children weekly and have a great discussion with each of them every week to kind of stay in touch with their lives. Um, and then as adult children, I think that's important. Um, and then I try to sleep eight hours per night. Do I do all these things? Do I achieve them all 100% of the time? Frankly, the answer is no, but I do get pretty close on most of them most weeks. And you know why? Because I've been able to create a system, as I call it, a system, you know, the significance of which is this. It allows you to complete these things in kind of a timely manner, so you're not wasting a lot of time thinking it through. You can almost do it on autopilot, some of these things. Not the discussion with children, of course, but some things you can do uh, in a systematic uh, autopilot type of way. And it just saves time when you have a system. So it's a timely manner. And you know what? If I skip any of these, it's like working out, which I didn't mention, but that's something I do regularly. If I don't work out for several days, wow, I really notice it. And I think you would too. Likewise, you need habits, also known as a system. Uh, it's like what I like to call it, a system. Let me give you a real life example. Recently, a dairy client of mine had his production plateauing. His milk production had plateaued and on some days it had literally dropped. So we started our discussion uh, with the nutritionist there as well. And we had a great meeting, a great review of what was going on in his operation. The reality was we found that freestall beds were not being raked daily. And we also found that feed was not being pushed up every three, uh, every three hours. It was only being pushed up three or four times per day, six to eight hours, every six to eight hours. And that was inadequate. That was insufficient because it was limiting the cow's intakes. Now, we wouldn't skip milking the herd, the lactating cows, for three days. And we certainly would not, we wouldn't go three or four days without breeding cows that are, that are due to be bred. So why would we skip these? The problem really, as we discovered in our research, is that due to higher labor turnover, there was a severe lack of training. Some of these employees just didn't know what they needed to do. They didn't know. They didn't know what they didn't know, so to speak. And the client also didn't realize that they didn't know. He'd been overwhelmed with the higher turnover levels. And as a result, there was a uh, a shortfall here in their operations. So with some training on the good news, so with some training and teaching, uh, basically teaching one employee to drive a tractor, they created a system, an hourly system. They tracked the uh, results of this and the actual input and output. And guess what? The free stalls got raked every day. And guess what? The feed got pushed up every three hours, 24 hours a day. In the middle of the night, it was getting pushed up by the night milkers. So basically, the end result was that it got their production back on track. But the lesson here that I want to share with you is this. Well, you need, just as I do, need to create a list of tasks or habits, if you will, to be completed that will allow you to create a system. If you make a concerted effort to create this system and write it down, I think you'll find two things. Number one, it will normally get done. All the tasks will get completed on, in a timely manner and on a regular schedule. And number two, as I said earlier about not working out for several days, if not, if these things aren't getting done, you will notice it. And then, most importantly, you'll know what to do next. That is the key to the succession, a success in this area. And so I'd like to mention to you that if you enjoyed this discussion, and this thought process, I would invite you to join us for the upcoming Next Level Thinking workshops uh, this fall, and I would keep your eye open for them at success, 
www.dashstrategies.com. You can see the website right above my head, and I would invite you to join us. Again, I'm John Ellsworth, founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage, and I want to thank you for listening today. Thank you very much.